Hi friends, as I promised in the previous video, today we're going uh, hopefully to finish environment setup and then proceed with some Eclipse configuration to make it friends with Tomcat so that we can manage Tomcat from Eclipse. Uh, then we will go forward and try some basic servlets with GSP example and then finally we will start working on our Java E project using uh, all the stuff we discussed earlier and I believe that should be very exciting. Uh, so uh, let's open our Eclipse and search for uh, some another plugin that uh, will w will help us uh, with the using Spring Framework libraries. And the name of it uh, is a Spring Tool Suite and Spring uh, IDE. Um, actually, two of them. So. Um, by the way, you can use Eclipse Marketplace uh, to find plugins as well as search Google for update sites. Uh, this time I will I will use the Eclipse Marketplace and uh, just type in and find. Um, uh, it already shows us the Spring Tool Suite. Just check you install the right v version for your uh, Eclipse if you have an older one. have a uh, Helios so uh, here's a correct version version for my Eclipse yeah these plugins uh, will help us to debug and uh, to catch our own mistakes we create during uh, using and configuring Spring so that hopefully we will not be informed about mistakes during compile time or uh, application startup time or uh, even wo even worse during application runtime. Um, yeah, the Spring works that way. It does many things during runtime so uh, sometimes it makes debugging more difficult. So uh, um, these additions has more features uh, built in um, like a uh, Webflow graphical uh, user interface that uh, allows us to create our uh, web page flows and transitions by uh, simply making diagrams. So I've never used it. I prefer plain source uh, XML files. So uh, because it gives more details and more flexibility, but but it's up to you. You can many you can uh, do many things in uh, graphical editor as well. Time to restart the Eclipse. I have now a uh, Spring Tool Suite installed. So uh, I think the Spring IDE is included, so I'll check it, uh, just rechecked. Let's check if it came with the Spring IDE included, and uh, that's even, we do not have to, to install it separately. Yeah, Spring IDE is included, so... Uh, it's easier for us and uh, it's just was included now let's configure Eclipse to uh, work with Tomcat to do that we go to the window preferences type in server and uh, runtime environments and uh, then we add new runtime environment and choose your Tomcat 
application server you inst installed previously. Uh, I have a six version, so I choose the six. Uh, then, then, then click next. So we must point the Tomcat installation directory. I think I will. I have installed the program files. Upper Software Foundation, Tomcat 6, and that should be root folder. So point to that. And uh, here we should uh, choose our runtime environment. And uh, you should always choose uh, GDK instead of uh, Java runtime environment uh, if you do not have the GDK option I in this drop down then you should perform following steps go to install install GREs and uh, probably you do not have this uh, entry here so you should uh, click add uh, choose standard standard VM and uh, then click direct directory and choose your uh, GDK root folder and that should be the that should be this folder when you choose that you just go forward and uh, and uh, click finish I have the error message here because I've uh, already uh, created uh, I already have this uh, entry created so uh, I just click can cancel and uh, when you have it here you just check the checkbox and uh, click OK and uh, then it will appear here so the reason why we use GDK here is bec uh, that's because uh, uh, Tomcat might use the GDK compiler and uh, other utils included in GDK that uh, are not included in the Java runtime environment so um, choose the GDK here click finish and uh, we, we now have the runtime environment so click OK and uh, the next step sh we should perform is uh, um, we should uh, find the view called the servers and uh, to do that you go to the show view and uh, click servers so that you have the additional view um, to create new Tomcat instance you uh, do right click new server uh, here again we choose the version you have on your machine and uh, select the previously created runtime environment so I have the Ap Apache Tomcat 6 click next um, you do not have uh, applications uh, projects created right now so uh, these uh, fields are empty click finish and now we have a new Tomcat instance here so as well as a new project called servers and that is uh, basically that is a holder of our uh, instance configurations um, now we have one instance and one instance configuration here's the configuration files so the interesting thing here is that uh, the main Tomcat instance installed in our uh, uh, machine the the main process is uh, is uh, not affected by uh, by uh, our Eclipse so that it, ru it runs uh, simultaneously and uh, we just create new Tomcat instance that we could uh, restart, stop and start and uh, 
the main process of Tomcat will uh, stay in uh, running mode uh, till the process is stopped. So uh, we have uh, a new instance here. Let's try to start it. So just click the start the, the server and probably you should uh, get the uh, error message and uh, here it is and uh, that happens uh, because uh, we have our uh, main instance running on the ports uh, the same ports uh, we just created our uh, another Tomcat instance so we must to change it and to change it you just uh, double click on the our uh, server and uh, here are the ports and you just uh, change uh, to the numbers you like um, always to increment them by one like that then just save the configuration and let's try to start again and now it's Tomcat is starting so it's already started so uh, you just uh, can uh, uh, test it right now here you go to the uh, web browser and type in local host and uh, now you can uh, you should type in the port you just uh, currently edited and that in my case are is a uh, 8081 and you should get some uh, error message like uh, http status uh, uh, 404 and that is because uh, currently we do not have any applications deployed yeah and uh, that's a totally fine message you can uh, also go to the main instance which is uh, on port 8080 and uh, that should be the previously we, s we see, uh, screen we previously we've seen so uh, very nice okay let's let's uh, now try to create some um, example uh, web project that use servlets and GSP pages but we will do it in the next part so uh, keep in touch and see you there <laughs>